All right, guys, uh, here we're going to do another example. Let us, let's look at this one. Consider two non-degenerate eigenstates. So non-degenerate just means that, oops, where's my, yeah, EN0 does not equal to EM0. That's what non-degenerate means. Um, N0 and P0. Remember, N and P just refer to two different eigenstates of the system. Okay. Suppose we know we know the first order corrections. Okay, so that's known. I like that. And then so we can write the states as this. And then this is order lambda squared. And let's calculate this overlap. Okay, that seems simple enough. All right. So n lambda, if we expand it, is just going to give us. Well, let's see. It's going to give us n zero plus n one lambda plus order lambda squared right and this is all multiplied by p lambda p lambda is nothing more than p0 plus lambda p1 plus order lambda squared right okay so let's expand that out and let's see what we get first things first we have n0 p0 okay and then we have let's collect orders of lambda now so then we're gonna have let me do it in a different color just so it looks pretty and then we have plus lambda times okay well we have n0 p1 right n0 p1 and then from here so n0 p1 comes for this and then n1 p0 comes from that plus n1 p0 okay and then lambda squared do we have enough information about lambda squared i'm not sure about that one because for lambda squared what we have is well lambda squared is only this guy and this guy together so n1 p1 but then we also have things like n0 times order of lambda squared so that's going to give you more terms that are orders of lambda squared, but we don't know them because we don't know the order of lambda squared correction. So we can't use this. We can't actually use this. We can only know this guy up to first order. Okay. We can only know this guy up to first order. And that's because we don't know this order of lambda squared term. But regardless, let's, let's try to calculate this. So let's see. Um, you got a new color here. So anyways, we know, let's look at this guy first. N0, P0, you guys should know what this is by now. Um, this is nothing more, this is zero, right? Because the initial eigenstates, the unperturbed eigenstates are orthogonal to each other. So this guy is zero. Okay, let's look at the next term. N0, P1, what is that gonna give us? N0, P1. Well, we have a formula for P1, right? The formula for P1 is nothing more than, let me get a different color here. It's nothing more than, um, if you guys remember, it's negative sum over M does not equal to P. And then we're going to have delta H M P over EM0 minus EP0 times M0 right now this whole thing this whole thing right here is just a constant you can pull it outside right so what are we left with what are we left with um, we're left with okay this is equal to well let's pull the negative sum m does not equal to p then we have delta h m p over EM0 minus EP0 and then N0 product with M0. Okay. Again, we are left with the situation we gotta evaluate this guy. This guy is gonna be delta N M, right? Because it's zero when they're not equal to each other, and it's one when they are equal to each other. All right, so it just simplifies down to, in the end, we just get negative 
since this delta is here, it truncates the sum, right? And it truncates it just to delta H M P over E N zero minus E P zero. Now, if you're smart and you're smarter than me, you would have realized that this is just, we could just use the formula with the sum, just with, instead of M, we have N here, right? Now that's, that's definitely the easiest way. I just took the long way just to show you that they're exactly equivalent. Okay. Anyways, so now we have to calculate this term here, n1 p0. Okay. And if you notice, um, n1 p0, n1 p0 is nothing more than p0 n1 complex conjugate, right? Because when you complex conjugate an inner product, you change the bra with the ket, okay? And this inner product is nothing more than sum over, uh, actually, we don't even need the sum because let's, let's do this shortcut right away. This matrix element is nothing more than negative delta H PN over EP0 minus EN0, right? Just using our standard formula, okay? So now what I want to do is I want to combine these terms together. So I'll write it up here real quick. Actually, yeah, I'll write it over here. Um, okay, so N0, P1. Oh, sorry, and this should be complex conjugated. But if you notice, the complex conjugate of this guy is just itself because... The perturbation is a Hermitian because it's a Hamiltonian, right? And a Hamiltonian is Hermitian. So H dagger is always equal to H. This is property of Hermitian matrices. All right. So it'll just be the same thing. Anyways, N0 P1 plus P1 N0 is nothing more than negative delta H and P over EN0 minus EP0. And then this term right here is going to be minus delta H PN complex conjugate, which is just the same as NP um, over EP0 minus EN0. And notice, notice what happened here. These guys are the same, except they are different by a minus sign. Because if I add a plus here, and then a minus here, it becomes the same thing. So this whole thing is just equal to zero. It's equal to zero. So what does this mean? What does this mean? Let's go back up to our original problem. What does this mean? This means that this guy right here, this guy is equal to zero plus order lambda squared. Okay. And if you actually calculate it out, this whole term is just going to be equal. This whole inner product is going to be equal to zero for all orders of lambda. And this is a remarkable statement. This means that if the two, if the original eigenstates in the unperturbed basis are orthogonal, which means that, as you know, n0, p0 equals zero, if they're originally orthogonal, they will they are orthogonal to each other, okay? No matter what, no matter what. So if they start orthogonal, they will stay orthogonal. And this is a very important fact that we're going to use again and again and again throughout this whole course, okay? So that's another example. Um, let's do one more, and then we'll get straight into the second order corrections, all right? I hope to see you then.